Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter three, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So these are gonna be two or three set problems, okay? So this one says the 24 students in this least class each collected an average of 18 cans. So 24 students, 18 cans. The 21 students in Mr. Gauss's class collected an average of 25 cans. So 21 students, 25 cans. How many more cans were collected? So whatever that is, Whatever these two numbers are, we need to subtract the smaller one from the bigger one, okay? That's how we find the difference, which is how many more cans, okay? So that means we need to find the difference. Well, you find the difference by subtracting, okay? So I went over here and already wrote down the numbers we need. So eight times four is 32. Two down, carry the three. Eight times two is 16, plus three more is 19. Okay, we're gonna go and tick, tack, toe, and then one times 24 is 24. I'm gonna add those up, okay? So two, my, two plus nothing is two, nine plus four is 13, carry that one, one plus one is two, plus two more is four. So 432 cans. for this one, okay? Now we're gonna do the other one, okay? So, one times 25 is gonna be 25, okay? So we don't have anything to tick, that's fine. Tap, toe, two times 25, just like if I had two quarters, that would be 50 cents. So, 525 for the other one, okay? So, so now I'm gonna put 525 up top and 432 on the bottom. Okay, that's how we're going to find out the difference. Okay, and whatever it is, it's going to be in hands. Okay, so 5 minus 2 is 3. 2 cannot take away 3, so I need to borrow 1, making that 12. 12 minus 3 is 9, and 4 minus 4 is nothing. So 93 cans. Okay, done. Okay, couple, two, three steps, but you gotta get them all done, okay? All right, at each school, each of the 45 classrooms has 22 students, okay? At West School, each of the 42 classrooms has 23 students. How many more students are at East than at West? So, East, and, whoop, and west, okay? And then, whatever those are, I need to subtract to find the difference, okay? But whatever it is, it's gonna wind up being in students, okay? So, East has 45 classrooms with 22 students, and West, has 42 classrooms with 23 students. All right, let's do some math, you ready? Two times five is 10, carry that one. Two times four is eight, plus one more is nine, okay? Now, tick, tack, toe. This is the same number as that, so it's still gonna be 90. We just had a zero behind it. Add them up, 990, okay? So now, I'm gonna do the other one, okay? Three times two is six, nothing to carry. Three times four is 12, okay? Now we're gonna go through, and we don't have anything to tick, but that's fine, tack, toe. Two times two is four, two times four is eight. Add them up, six, six, nine. So we have 990 minus 960, okay? Okay. All right, so zero cannot take away six, so I'm going to borrow one, making that a 10. 10 minus six is four, eight minus six is two, and nine minus nine is nothing, so 24 students, done. Okay, let me write in that east had 990 and west had 900 and 66. And 
and that way you guys know where we got our numbers, okay? All right. You guys are going to do number four. You totally can. Okay, you're also going to go ahead and do the lesson check on the back, okay? One and two, okay? We're going to go down and do the sparrow review. An orchard has 24 rows of apple trees. There are 35 apple trees in each row. How many apple trees are in the orchard? Well, I'm going to put the bigger number up top, and I'm going to multiply it, okay? So, four times five is 20, carry the two. Four times three is 12, plus two more is 14. Okay, so six, back, so two times five is 10, carry the one, two times three is six, plus one more is seven, add them up. Zero, four, eight, apple, trees. You could just write trees. Okay? I know I'm moving kind of fast, guys, but you guys can always go back, rewind, watch it again if you need to, no big deal, okay? An amusement park reported 54,605 visitors last summer. What is the number rounded to the nearest thousand? So, do that four. So, I'm going to write down our number. Okay. I'm going to underline the thousand. Okay. Now, everything before that underlined number stays the same. Okay. Now, we are going to look at the number after it to decide if it needs to go up or stay the same. If this number is smaller than five, then we can keep that a four. If it's bigger than five, it needs to go up to a five. That means that a six is bigger than five, so that number needs to become a five, and then everything after it becomes a zero. Okay? And you can put visitors. Okay? All right. Attendance at the football game was 102,653. What is the value of the six digit? Now, this one, it doesn't want you to round. It just wants to know what the value of the six is. Well, those are super cool because that means that all you have to do is drop down that six and everything after it becomes a zero. Okay? Jill's fish weighs eight times as much as her parakeet. Together, the pets weigh 63 ounces. So, Jill's fish and her parakeet, okay? Her fish weighs eight times, okay? So, her, her parakeet's one, her fish is eight. And all together, they weigh 63 ounces, okay? So, that means... So you have to take that 63 ounces and divide it by however many boxes you have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I know that nine times seven is 63. That means that all of these boxes are worth seven. Okay, so her parakeet weighs seven ounces and her fish weighs eight times that. So the easiest way that I find to do this is to take off the ones that match, then worry about the rest of them. Okay, you want to know how much your fish weighs, okay? So we're gonna oh no sorry it wants to know how much it weighs altogether so not how much more. So I'm sorry I shouldn't have crossed those off. Okay so now seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven times eight is 56 ounces. All right, guys, you are done with 3.7. On to chapter four next time. See you soon.